Ho 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 and welcome once more to the second day of Atlas Cyber here on TryHackMe. So we're gonna look at the uh, second day today. I kinda already did it because I just went right through in it and just wanted to answer all the questions. So what you see the right side is the, uh, the machine uh, that I booted up and the left side is the question and answers that we're gonna try and answer for you. Now, as you can see, some of the answers is actually blurred out because I kinda want you to find yourself so do the commands, do the video, watch and learn, that's gonna be the video. So really let's just dive right into it. Now, three of the questions, the top, the middle, and the lower one, you just need to click, you know, completed it. So the very first time you connect to the machine, this is the uh, in um, the split window machine. And, and basically, um, uh, you just you, you can also connect to it by SSH, but you don't really need to do that, you know. But uh, I just use the split window because it's most convenient. Very first question is to find out how many files there is, and basically it's gonna be so easy, so I don't really care about you see that. That's gonna be the two first files here: the SSH and the web server log file. The answer is two. Also, uh, Elf Max did manage to capture the log generated by the web server. What is the name of this file? And as you can see, it's right there. It is called webserver.log. That's gonna be the answer. Now, to get the next question here done, and also to answer the IP address, the way that I found the answer was actually to look for the, uh, the, the file right here, as you cannot see what it is. But what I kind of did is I, I kind of got lucky, you could say, but you know, I figured it's gonna be in the web server log file, so I, th I thought, what if I grab that, you know, and, and I just pipe that, you know, you, you need to do that, but I, I just want to make it explicit for you. So you grab that, and then um, you will search for, I mean, sorry, you, you cat it, <laughs> and then you grab it, just like that, and then you say like, okay, so I want to look for something like Santa. I kind of just figured it's going to be the way to go and I just immediately saw that okay so we have the answer right there and that's going to be the file and I, I just looked at it and said okay so that is the date and the time and that's going to give us the, the, the Friday which is the answer you can see the 18th of November and it's also going to give us the IP address right there so it's going to be the IP address so what if left now is kind of just to find the actual flag Find the flag was um, not that challenging, but if you wish to um, look through the files manually, it's gonna, you know, be uh, pretty uh, something time-consuming. What you can do is you can run a grep command and say like, I want a recursive grep command on this particular library that we're in. Uh, non cane sensitive. It's gonna be a extended. Um, Extended uh, uh, regular expression. I'm going to look for the try hack me uh, syntax, which is going to be the one that I'm going to put in right here. And then you could basically just press enter and you will get the flag from the file called sshd.log. Now, this is the sneak way of doing it, but I've seen some people adding the N to the uh, to get the line number. You don't need to do that, you know. <laughs> you can just, you know, do it like that. I don't think you even need to have the I there, you know. Just, just try it for the sake of the video. Yeah, you need the I. I do think you need the E, right? No, you need the E. You need the recursive. You need anything at all. <laughs> Yeah, you need the recursive. So really what you could actually stick to is just the, the, the tag I, R, sorry, the tag R, and that's gonna give you the flag as well. So it was a pretty basic room using the grep command, and some of the things can be quite intimidating while you're trying to find the answers, but you know, the most important part of this room is that you actually learn something about grep, that you learn to use grep, understood that, you know, looking through big files, which is something you can also always see. So if you do like ls tag al, you can see that the, the, the web server log file is kind of big, which is gonna, you know, create a lot of spam in your terminal if you just cut it out and look through it manually. 
or if you're trying to open it in Nano or Vim or VR or any other tech that is, you know, you can SSH directly to the server here to get a bit more speed from it, but you know, you really need that, you know, this is just the way to go. So grip command, really powerful, you know, um, I should definitely use it more myself. I just, I just never do it, you know, I just, just don't think to do it. So I want to say happy Christmas when it comes. Hope you liked this video and I will see you on day number three. <laughs>